Hey guys, today we are down in Austin, Texas, the Dell's Round Rock 5 facility, and we are in their new Flex Lab. Welcome. So today we're looking at uh, two servers. This is the AMD-based XC7745. This one's been shipping, I believe I saw this last year at Supercompute. That's right, yeah. And today we have the new uh, XC7740, the Intel model, which has just started shipping. So on this side, we've got the AMD 9005 CPUs, uh, dual socket platform with eight GPUs in there. At the moment, that's filled with eight RTX Pro 6000 GPUs, okay. high performance, uh, excellent power draw. And when you look at that as compared to like the SXM platforms, you know, the uh, 9680 with eight SXM GPUs, yeah. this, ha this draws a lot less power and uh, gives a lot better profile when you're looking at density within the rack. Okay, and these, from what I can understand, support um, eight uh, dual-width or 16 single-width GPUs, and on the dual side, they support, uh, they go up to uh, 600 watt for the emerging uh, newest uh, generation of GPUs. Yeah, that's right. So you can go all the way from like the L40S right up through uh, Gaudi 3, which okay. is what we have here, and then we also have the RTX Pro 6000s and the H100s. Okay, awesome. So on uh, these models, they are air-cooled. I know uh, Dell yeah. offers liquid-cooled options, but this is more for traditional deployments where, or traditional data centers already existing that may not have uh, liquid on site or they don't want to do a side cart. Uh, it gives a little more flexibility in where they can de uh, be deployed, as well as going with a traditional 19-inch rack instead of the ORV3. That's right. So we're building out this space we're standing in right now. This yeah. is going to be really exciting. It's a brand new flex lab for us uh, where we've brought in a lot of high power. We've brought in liquid cooling, but not all customers are as uh, next gen as we are. Yeah. Let's put it that way, right? And um, they, they're trying to integrate these platforms with dense GPUs into an existing 19 inch air cooled rack. Okay. And that's where these are really are, are really focused on. So tell me a little bit uh, a little bit about these servers. It looks like it's kind of a one U server made it to a three U JBot shelf. Yeah, or, it's, uh, it's three. It close. Yeah, you're close. It's not quite a J. It's well, more yeah, like it's a, a, a. Well, on this side, it's a it's a JBot, I guess, like a graphics card, just a box of this yeah. type of thing. And on this side, it's an ABOD because it's an accelerator. Yeah. So we've got. GPUs and accelerators, so there is a difference between the two. Yeah, and it's front. Uh, there's uh, fans mounted the front, so the mm -hmm. uh, compute layer and GPU layer both get their own discrete airflow, so both kind of get the cool air that they want. Yep, absolutely. And what, on the testing that we've shown, um, the ambient cooling temperatures for these are somewhere in the range of like 95 degrees that okay. it can accept. Uh, what's that? 35 degrees Celsius, I believe. It's toasty. Yeah, very. Um, right now, it's about 62 in here. I'm actually wearing a sweater because I'm cold, <laughs> right? But um, you know, once we get systems in here, it'll be it'll be warm enough. Let's put it that way, quick. So on the back, there are uh, eight additional uh, PCI slots for uh, is that east-west traffic? That's right. Yes. What happens is that um, obviously, if you have if you pack the system full of GPUs, you got to be able to do something with those GPUs well, yeah, outside. You can't just the box. use your management network to push that data out. That's exactly it. So, you know, when we look at like Z9864 switches or high performance back end fabrics, um, there's a lot of options that they can go with. And by having the, the, uh, the PCIe switch architecture, um, we're able to actually you know, give customers choice. So designed for more uh, traditional drop-in data centers, it looks like these are configured with eight 3,200-watt uh, uh, power supplies on the back. What, right. what average do, uh, power draw do you have to see from these things? It's generally, we're seeing just under eight kilowatts. Something okay, like that. not that bad. Uh, as compared to the 9680 with the SXM architecture, though, that draws around 12 and a half kilowatt. Okay, so, so it gets a little more power friendly. Yes, exactly. What it does is it allows customers that have, you know, threshold levels within the, the power consumption for their rack. The opportunity to put more of these dense GPUs that are bridged, you see the bridge yeah. architecture on these as well. So these guys are a little bit different than the uh, uh, eight-way SXM models. Now, being PCI-based, you can kind of grow with these. So you can start with one, expand on. How many customers would you say do that versus go with a full deployment? Yeah, what we're seeing, most customers are deploying because of the price point, especially within Gaudi 3. Gaudi 3 is a much more aggressive price point than, let's say, uh, the RTX Pro 6000 today. 
Um, because of the price point and because of the power draw, that means that they have more accessibility and they, ha they have more power within the rack. They're, they're putting at least four in each because by doing four and bridging th those four GPUs, then uh, you can get a lot better performance for your LLM. Okay, awesome. Doesn't mean you have to. You could do one, you could do two, four, six, eight, however you want and configure. Okay, so it gives you a little more options. So instead of having to buy it all at once, you can have go, uh, grow as either your demands grow or your budget can accept more yeah. GPUs. And the thing is too that the, don't forget that on the um, 9680 with, we sell the 9680 with Gaudi 3 as well, but that's an OEM board, yeah. right? And you have to do all eight GPUs at the, at the same time. Okay, well awesome. Thanks uh, for showing off these uh, two great platforms and I hope to get our hands on these uh, at some point in the future. Well, we'll have to put them back together for you. We've done a little bit of surgery here, but everything's working and we'll get them rocking and uh, we'll be able to do some actual tests. Awesome, thank you.